The OSU basketball roster is depleted, but the fight in the Cowboys is not. The Pokes, still with only seven scholarship players, took 11th ranked Texas Tech to overtime Wednesday night before losing in Lubbock. Today, they get another ranked team, number 15, Kansas. Fox 23's Jeff Kolb has the coverage of another thriller against the Jayhawks in Stillwater. Beating Kansas has become a recent tradition for OSU. The Cowboys have taken down the Jayhawks at least once in five of the last six seasons. In fact, 364 days ago, an unranked Pokes team upset number six Kansas right on this floor. With this year's Jayhawks squad coming into the day just two and five in Big 12 road games, there was more hope for another course storming. OSU football turned NFL players Chris Lacey, Vincent Taylor, Blake Jarwin, and Trey Flowers all in attendance. Oklahoma governor and OSU alum Kevin Stitt also in the building. First half, watch out governor. Stitt catches Curtis Jones. Great reflexes there, sir. Stitt got a great show too. Cam McGriff buries the triple. 16-14 OSU. Curtis Jones registering the deep three. Cowboys take a 37-32 lead to the locker room. Second half, here comes Kansas. Diedrich Lawson with two of his 20 points. Jayhawks up by four. Pokes answer. McGriff hits the deep two, had 19 points, and gives OSU back the lead. Jones was special. It's the ridiculous turnaround moonshot. 19 points for Jones. Bill Self calling him out of this world. But Kansas makes another run. Quinton Grimes for three of his 17. Jayhawks end up retaking the lead. Final seconds. OSU down three. Lindy Waters wide open but can't hit. Waters, the highest percentage three-point shooter in the conference. Final score, 72-67. to 67. Kansas attempted 18 more free throws than OSU. When I asked Cowboys head coach Mike Boynton about that, he said, quote, I don't want to talk about that. That's probably not smart. What he did want to talk about was his team's effort. They embody the spirit that I want this program to be about. And they're doing probably one of the hardest things to do, which is not a allowing the results to affect the process. This loss just the second for OSU to Kansas inside this building in their last six meetings. In Stillwater, covering news that matters, Jeff Kolb, Fox 23 Sports.